Hi, my name is Elaine Walker and I'm the Graduate Studies Librarian here at the W. Today I'm going to cover some search strategies that will help you with your research assignment for this class. In this video we will talk about how to find articles that analyze the different types of interpersonal or intimate relationships as they are portrayed in movies. Your objectives for this paper are to choose a movie from the list provided by your professor. As you are watching your selected film, you will identify and evaluate themes as they relate to physical and emotional well-being, and then find research that supports or contradicts those themes. Some of the titles include Brokeback Mountain, Precious, and I, Tanya. There are a couple of different ways that you can begin your search, either through the Discovery Search Bar, which pulls results from most of the databases we are subscribed to, or you can choose a customized selection of databases to search from. For now, we will start with the Discovery Search Bar. I'm going to enter a few keywords that will get our search started with one of the movie examples from the list. Here you can browse the list of results and select articles to read. You can also save articles to refer back to later by creating a folder with EBSCO. And to do this, uh, you can sign in, create a free account, and you will be able to refer back to these articles later that are in your folder. If none of these articles fit along with what you are looking for, you can try the advanced search option and apply limiters to filter the results to your needs. So I'm going to change up the search terms just a bit. And since this is the title of the movie, I'm going to put it in quotation marks and we're going to try searching that again. Your professor most likely will ask that you only cite peer-reviewed articles, so you can select this limiter over here on the left. You can also narrow down your search results um, by the type of publication, the subject, publisher, and language. If you come across an article that we do not have uh, direct access to, you will see this request item through interlibrary loan button. And what this does is it fills out the form for you to request it from another library. And within 24 hours, um, the full text article will be delivered to your email address. One thing I wanna point out is that not all of the articles will have this full text uh, PDF button right here. Uh, located under the description, um, but there is another way to get around that. You can click on the article and uh, go down to access URL here. If you click on this link, it should take you to where you need to go to view the article. And in this case, you will need to translate the page to English. And here's the article. Now I'm back on the library's homepage and I wanted to show you the other way that you can search databases without searching them all at once. So here I'm gonna select the databases button. And from subjects, I'm going to select psychology and family science. And what this does is it pulls all of the most relevant databases that we have um, that may be helpful to your search. So let's jump into PsycInfo. And this will look pretty similar to uh, the EBSCO discovery. Um, here you can go to choose more databases. So I really like Academic Search Complete and Premier, so I always like to include those even though they're not uh, specifically related to psychology and family science. Um, and then all of the other databases are listed here that you can search from, and then once you've selected what you want, you can hit OK, and then continue your search from there. So here I've entered our same search terms from earlier, except now we're only searching the three databases, APA, PsycInfo, and the Academic Search Premier and Complete. There's one more trick that I wanted to show you guys um, for finding similar articles. So for example, you can go in and click on the title to take you to the record, and then you can go over here and select find similar results. 
And what this does is it scans this article and then it will generate a new list of results based on what was scanned from this article. And you can narrow down your results to scholarly peer-reviewed articles. If you guys run into any trouble while you are conducting your research, there are several ways that you can talk, contact us virtually, either through chat, email, text, or scheduling a virtual appointment. You can schedule a virtual research appointment by going to the library's homepage and selecting book an online appointment. You can choose a staff member to meet with and then select a time that works best for you. We love to hear from our students, so please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you guys have any questions. Um, I've provided my email address here as well as the link to chat.